This employment law video is on office parties. Drinking. Excessive drinking is often part of the festive scene. Unfortunately, some employees will overdo it and may not be able to function properly the next day. Stay within your limits is the sensible advice. If you're at a work event, do pace yourself and leave if you've had too much to drink. It's a safer option. Leniency. You'd like to think that bosses would be a bit more relaxed about the odd overindulgence during the festive season. Supposing a company, for example, has laid on lots of alcoholic drinks at an office party which finishes late and some staff struggle to get into work on time the next day. Of course, employers should show some leniency honesty. If you're an office party casualty, it's far better to be honest than untruthful. When you've been cajoling your colleagues into a giant drunken conga followed by the limbo using your work tie, phoning in the next day with food poisoning isn't going to go down well. It would be wise to apologise for your state and try and get into work as soon as possible. Likewise, if you're struggling to fulfil your duties, it's far better to speak to your line manager than make a complete mess of your work. Disciplinary action. Employees who commit misconduct could be subject to disciplinary action. Remember, employers have quite a lot of scope in how they react. And overindulging at an office party is no excuse for poor performance or misconduct when an employer would expect an employee to know their limits. For gross misconduct such as dishonesty, bringing the company into disrepute, violent behaviour or harassment for example, depending on the circumstances this could lead to dismissal. So that's my party piece. The usual caveat is that this video is for guidance only and should not be relied upon for specific advice. For more information do visit my website. And if you're interested in receiving notifications on other employment law videos, do subscribe to my channel.